Hey guys, Jeremy here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create symbols in Illustrator CC. Symbols are really handy. You don't always have to recreate your objects and shapes. You can always just save them into the symbol palette and um, it will always be there. So you can reuse them in you know any of your documents. And I've just started really using it more often now. Um, and it's really handy. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Window. And we're going to go to Symbols on the bottom. Click that. And you'll get this panel pop up. These are just the default symbols that Illustrator comes with. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new symbol. So I'm just going to go to my shapes palette and create a star. Just hold shift and option and just dragging it out. So we have this star. So what you do is click and drag this into the panel. Boom, like that. You'll get an option. So I'm going to name it star and then change a movie clip to graphic and just leave it on dynamic symbol. And then I just leave those options. Uh, press OK. And now we have this symbol. We've got this star in our symbol panel. So I can just click and drag this, and now it's just making copies of that. Really easy. So I'm just going to delete those. And before we can use this star as a shape, we have to break the link. So if I just, I'm going to select it, and if you look up the top here, we've got um, edit symbol and break link. So what I'm going to do now, if, if I click break link, Illustrator recognizes this as a shape now, as a path, as you can see. And it's not a symbol anymore. So I can edit this, I can change the color and so forth. So you always have to break the link. So to make sure that it's editable and that, you know, you won't run into any problems. So always do that when you're dragging it out. And what else we can do is we can also edit the symbol. So if we don't like the look of it, maybe we want to change the color. I'm going to select the star and go edit symbol. And then I'm just going to select it. And I'm going to go just change it to a yellow and then press escape to get out of the edit mode. And then like that. And now we have this star and it's changing in the symbol palette. So if I save that, it's going to save that as that yellow star we just re rechanged. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to delete this star and we're just going to go more in depth into the options. So if I select the star and if you click on the sh um, little drop menu, you can duplicate it. We can um, delete that if you want. We can go delete like that. If I select it, we can go to edit symbol like we just did before. We can change the color and it will edit it. And now we have an orange star. So that's another way to do it. Um, you can also place symbol instance, which means it will just put um, put it into your document or your artboard. And it will just place it there. Um, you can also, you know, select or unuse symbols. Say if you, do, I don't want these symbols that I'm not using. Um, you can delete them. You can sort by name if you want or change the uh, list. But I prefer thumbnail view. It's easy to look at. And we can also save and open symbol palettes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a symbol library. So Illustrator comes with all these ones, but you can save custom ones. So if I just click on any of this, I'll click on charts and it's going to open the charts and I can use these symbols if I want. Or I can, you know, go. you click this little arrow here on the bottom and it will go to the other palettes that you have or that, that comes with Illustrator. So I've got like a floral one. I can use this. That's pretty cool. We've got like a plant, but I'm not going to use this. So I'm just going to close these. You can just close these and I'm going to open one that I've created. So if I go symbols and you can just right click and then close the tabs. So I've created these symbols here and I, I use these, I've used these recently I use for logo design or if I'm doing like a badge or that type of thing, or even if you're doing a client um, project and they want to see like the design in context, it's good to save like mockups. So I've got this one that I've downloaded online for free. It's a shirt mockup. So I can drop the logo in on the shirt and, you know, save it as a PDF and the client will like that, um, which is pretty handy. Um, I can just drop these ones in if I'm doing like a logo design to see which one I like. Um, so it's good to, you know, create shapes. If you're always constantly creating, you know, maybe triangles or arrows, that type of thing, or if, or if you have a specific shape you're always using in your designs, it's, make sure you save it instead of always recreating it. It's better just to drop it in your symbol palette and always have it there. So what we can do now is I'm just going to close this and say we've got this new palette. Maybe I don't want those ones. And say we have this new palette that we've created. So to save it, you just go to save symbol library at the bottom. Click that and then you can save it wherever you want. But I suggest saving it into where your a program is. So go to Adobe. Um, go to Illustrator, Presets, um, that option, and then Symbols, and save it into here. As you can see, I've got my Symbol Palette here. So 
Um, it's best to save it in here so Illustrator will recognize it. So you don't always have to, you know, go find it because um, then it will register it. So save it in this folder here with all the other ones. And I'm just going to press cancel. So you save that and then it will pop up in Open Symbol Library. And as you can see here, my symbols with all the shapes is there already. And you can just select any one. So if I click that, it's there. So yeah, that's pretty much how you use symbols, guys. Um, it's a great handy tool. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos each week. And I'll catch you in the next one.